NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. Hey there, I'm Melissa Adon, and this is your update for Saturday, December 12th. Big news on the COVID-19 fight as the nation's first coronavirus vaccine is now approved for emergency use by the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA has determined that the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has met its criteria for safety and efficiency. That vaccine is given in two doses, three weeks apart. It's going out to frontline workers and long-term care patients first. But here in San Diego County, we are set to receive 28,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines. They're expected to arrive within days, and that first batch will go to health workers. The second vaccine priority group here in San Diego is essential workers, followed by older San Diegans and people with underlying conditions. Supplies of the vaccine are limited, and they have to be kept in extremely cold temperatures, so it will likely still be months before the general public has access. Well, more than 102,000 San Diegans have now tested positive for the coronavirus since the pandemic began. The county reported a record of 2,867 new cases yesterday. That's out of 25,000 tests, which is a daily positivity rate of 11 percent. In the past 24 hours, 23 more San Diegans have sadly died, bringing the total to 1,137 deaths. Plus, 10 new community outbreaks were also identified, making it a total of 64 in the past seven days. And another important number we've been tracking are the percentage of ICU beds that are available in Southern California. Remember, this determines how long our stay-at-home order is in effect for. Well, the SoCal region is now down to 6.2 percent. North of us, there is an improvement to San Joaquin Valley's capacity. They were actually down at 1 percent Thursday. Now they're at 4.5 percent. A region's ICU capacity has to rise above 15 percent for stay-at-home orders to be lifted. Well, nurses at Palomar Health are voicing their concerns after Palomar Health applied for a waiver to the state's mandatory nurse to patient staffing ratios. The current ratios for intensive care units is two patients for each nurse. But under the new waiver, the hospital can increase that three to one. The change was made without any input from the nurses union. Palomar's health president and CEO says the hospital followed state guidelines and that the decision was made to guard against a potential surge in patients. Plus, if you need to travel by train over the holidays for a central business, Amtrak has made some changes that could impact your trip. From December 23rd through the 28th, reservations will be required for the Pacific Surfliner route. That's between San Diego and San Luis Obispo counties. Also, monthly Metrolink and coaster passes will not be accepted on Amtrak trains. Amtrak says this is to manage capacity and allow for physical distancing. Well, our annual Toys for Tots donation drive has been extended through the weekend. If you'd still like to donate, there's time. The Marines are out around the county collecting toys, and you can always drop them off at any UPS location. This is the last weekend, and these toys will be donated to 500 organizations in need and will go to about 50 to 60,000 local kids. Awesome job there. Well, we will continue to bring you the latest news here online at NBC7.com and always on TV. You can also make sure to learn more about us on our podcast, Today in San Diego, where we give you the biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everyone, and have a nice day. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Call one If tree roots have invaded your drain line, call Bill Howe today as our certified technicians can fix them with an epoxy V line, which requires no expensive digging. Call